Welcome to another edition of In My Opinion Sports with Pedro Justice. Let's go ahead and get into this. Today, we have the Louisville Cardinals versus the Clemson Tigers. Lamar Jackson versus Deshaun Watson. Who will come out on top? Who will be the winner? That's part of this. The country, the pundits, the ESPN, Fox, CBS, all of these people are saying, who's the better quarterback? Is it Deshaun Watson or is it Lamar Jackson? Who's the best quarterback? Guess what? They're both black quarterbacks. Oh, they're black. That should have nothing to do with anything right now. Nothing to do with anything. Who cares that they're two black quarterbacks? I want to get to the point where these are two great college quarterbacks. And let's just celebrate that. Both of them are are at the top of the Heisman race right now. And I don't feel that the loser of the, this game today should be out of the race. I don't think they should cancel each other out. It's continue play. How well can you play and get your team to where they need to be? Because even Alabama's proven with one loss doesn't mean you're necessarily out of it. But if they're on the same side, then it possibly could mean <laughs> that you're out of it uh, in the ACC. So we need to... Just celebrate these two young men and their athleticism and their IQ. They have a high IQ because what it looks like is, I know for sure for Deshaun Watson, he's ready to pass the ball first. That's why he had all those problems with people saying he's a dual threat because he's looking to pass the football. And now if that's not open, he's going to take off and run and get the first down and get the touchdown because that's what you're supposed to do is make the best play for the situation and when I look at Lamar Jackson that's what I see to a degree he's ready to run a little bit more because he is so elusive and so fast and people are like well, when you get a good lick on him that'll teach him but first you have to catch him to get a good lick on him so he looks to pass because if you look at his passing and t- yards and touchdowns I mean he's up there at the top or leading the nation right now I mean he's up there with other football teams themselves so but the running, I do see that he can do that. And it, he may not wait as long as the pass is not open as Deshaun Watson does. So I, I can see that. But right now, I haven't seen anyone stop him. And so he looks like he's on a streak. He has his confidence. He's ready to go. He's ready to do what he needs to do to get this victory today. So with Clemson versus uh, Louisville, I want to see someone stop Louisville first. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and pick Louisville right now. If Clemson wins, I'm not mad at that either. But I just want to enjoy this matchup. And let's not focus about these two guys against each other because they're not. They're both just trying to win this game for their team. And so let's not focus on the fact that they're two black quarterbacks or two dual threat quarterbacks. Let's let's just look at them as quarterbacks. These are two really skilled quarterbacks who are able to pass the ball great and also able to run the ball great and let's just enjoy that and let these young men enjoy their college careers and let's enjoy watching them and let's put all that other stuff to the side let's not focus on those things because in this country now let's just focus on the person the human being and these two guys are amazing human beings and they're amazing college quarterbacks and that's it until next time this is pedro justice (laughs) 